a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. So make it a great night, folks. Halfway through May, pretty amazing. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that'll make you happy. What will make you happy is to share the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 26, NASDAQ's up 69, S&Ps are up 9.5, gold contract. How do I do this? Yeah, gold contract flat, 2019 an ounce, silver up 9 cents, 20, $24.25 an ounce, light sweet crude. Dow up 99 cents at $71.00. A barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down six ticks, trading 115.08. The 30-year off 30 ticks, almost one full point at 129.25 and King Dollar. King Dollar is now 243 ticks, trading at 102.438. The Euro is at 108. The Yen is at 136. And the British Pound is at 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, if we go to the SPY first, you know, you get a slow day out here. Um, you know, the volatility's dying in spades. Uh, there's no doubt about that, man. I mean, you can see this. We've been going sideways now for three, six, one, three. Yeah, se the seven trading days. You could actually more than that, but I mean strictly sideways. Your volume's coming down, 38 million shares out here today. If we get into the E-mini and we take a look at the E-mini, this is where there's going to be a heads up coming into the close out here. Because of the fact, when I just did that update, you know, what you do have is that, you know, you got a, this little blurp down the last time we were down there. Doesn't have a lot of volume, but at the highs, what you do have is that we, it's going into the how we went to the downdraft on Friday. So if it does get up there, I expect that sell is going to be right there and slam the S&Ps once again, because that's what you had out here this morning, right? And it's the, it's, it's the same number. You know, bottom line is that on Friday, that sell had done, well, I don't not that sell, there's not more, there could be more than one, 65,000 contracts. And we went up there and tested it this, uh, this afternoon with, uh, yeah, with 29,000. We go into the NQs. The NQ is, a, you know, th there is divergence here. There's no doubt divergence, but the NQs are given a little clearer picture, meaning that I suspect that it's actually, we are going to get just a little, a small pullback. And, and, it, and what happens here, folks, if that's what we get, you still have a sideways move. It doesn't mean a thing. That's, that's all we've done out here today is a sideways move. So if you take a look at it, you're going to see that you had a little heavier blurp inside the NQs, meaning we came down there at that uh, 1340 p.m. today, we had uh, contract volumes of uh, 10,000. And all of these numbers up here, they're hitting 8,500, 5,900, 5,900. There's just not enough juice up at that level. We go into the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract out here is trading out at flat, flat market, sideways market. 155,000 contracts, that's still in a consolidation. We go into the bonds, the note and bonds. The difference in the note and bonds, uh, my take is that we're not only want higher price, lower yield. Yeah, but you can see today, every time we get down, folks, 
Look at the contraction of volume here. You're down six ticks. The contraction of volume is 94,000 contracts. That's a monster contraction of volume. You've been going higher with 1.6, 2 million contracts up at these highs. My take is that we're probably developing a large ABC structure on the way up. And here we go. It's going to be up about this U.S. dollar. If we take a look at the dollar, what you see with the dollar is that it finally got off its lows last week. You know, and that's a, that's a long consolidation. It's, a, it's above it now. When I take a long consolidation, we're talking about that goes all the way back to um, April 4th. You know, it got above it. So my take is that we want to go to this 106. Now, if that's what we get, I want to show you something. When I just did the gold report this morning, so if any of these folks that are in these gold equities, it's a time to be very careful because I suspect what's going to happen here is this. Let me show you this in the XAU and the HUI because this looks to me like it's going to be quite a pullback, and this is why. You see the, like, the XAU is at 134. Well, last time with volume on the way up is 125. So that would be saying that you're actually going to break the, the consolidation that we've been in going all the way back to the beginning of April. You know, we'll see where it shakes out, but that's where my that's where I'm going because if the and the HUI has the same setup. And what in this what this does happen is this, folks. This is how deviant markets are in general. If that's what we get, you know, my, my larger take is that yes, the gold and silver market's still going higher, gold's going higher, all of the above, the dollar's going lower. That being said, the bottom line is that this could be just the last downdraft before it just starts all over again and explodes topside because most times if you get in a large move that's what markets like to do and in the hui that number is 244 and right now you're at 270 because you can see what happened we actually did get an expansion of volume last thursday on the way down you are going well i, I don't have today's value yet but i suspect what you're going to have on today's is that you're going to have a higher high today's volume and you're going to have a big contraction of volume as we move to higher price some of the higher volume equities out here today it's going to be a big low volume market out here whoops one second s p no s p one second s p most get the s p in there spx there we go Whoa, what is that doing with you? You have uh, Tesla's uh, down $2. We have Wells Fargo up a buck thirty-nine. Nvidia's up, look at that thing, up five thirty-five. Five thirty-five. Facebook's up uh, five twenty-five. Micron Tech's up three forty. You have uh, Marbell flat. We have uh, Charles Schwab up 234. Stay right there, folks. We're coming back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. Recap what's going on out here right now. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 27, NASDAQ up 69, S&P's up 9.5. We're coming right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 27. We get the Nasdaq up 69. S&P's up nine and a half. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day. Also, has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content. You can get the Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, okay? So you can come over, check it out. You're not only going to get a great newsletter. Steve has a huge amount of information with his newsletter that you're going to understand how to look at the market each and every trading day. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Game seven is going on tonight. I, can you believe it? I mean, uh, that, you know, these guys are so impressive. It's unbelievable, actually. They are. So we've got the Florida Panthers that they're going to be playing the Hurricanes. I don't know when the first game is scheduled. I, I know they've got to get through tonight's game yeah. to figure out whether, you know, who, who's playing who, whether it's Dallas or Seattle. Right. Uh, that's playing uh, Las Vegas. I wasn't that happy that there was a the game came out on a Sunday evening after Mother's Day at 10 o'clock at night last night. So that was a, that was a struggle to watch that. Game. I was asleep. <laughs> I, I get it. I get it. I totally get it. But uh, so so definitely look. So as you mentioned, hey Tom, we're we're halfway through the month, and uh, you and I haven't really talked about the seasonal. So I thought that I would what we would do today is spend a little bit of time on on those. Cool. And th this first chart here, uh, this is now what I've done is I've just taken the last twenty five years worth of data because oh. I've got twenty five years worth of data for the S and P, the Dow. And the Nasdaq, I only have 20 years worth of data for the Russell. In the Dow, we can go back 100 years, but I just thought we'd try to keep things consistent. So we're just looking basically the last two decades out here. So over the last 25 years, the Dow is traded in essence like this, what we see on this chart here. Don't be paying attention to prices or it's really more of a directional thing as opposed to whether it really takes out lows or takes out highs. But, yes. You know, we're really looking for potential turning points. And what's also nice about this data, especially for, for, for day traders, Tom, if you take Take a look at the bottom left here over the last 25 years. This is for the Dow. You can see that, you know, Monday, Tuesday are great days for the Dow. 
Wednesday, Thursday, okay, and Friday, not so much. Okay. And it also is nice, you know, just on the bottom to be able to take a look at the, the uh, which months are seasonally favorable versus unfavorable. And what we can see here, where, you know, if we take just the last 25 years, the whole sell in May cycle, which is May through October, we can see that on average, it really is around May 1st that identifies the top for the Dow. And it's not until October 9th when we get a significant low for the rest of the year out there. So something for us to keep in mind, if we take a look at the same uh, time frame, 25 years, but we switch it to the S&P 500. By the way, the red vertical line, folks, that's where we're at today, just so you can get a feel for where we're at. In the case of the S&P 500, it also has done the same with the top May 1st and a bottom uh, in October. Now, interestingly enough, the S&P has terrible Mondays. It doesn't like Mondays. That's Apparently wild, huh? Apparently, it parties too hard during the week. But Tuesdays, it loves Tuesdays out there. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what uh, transpires here uh, tomorrow. But again, just good information for the uh, day traders out there. Now, during the last 25 years, Tom, here's what the NDX chart looks like, and totally different than what we just looked at for the Dow and the S&P 500. I, I identify where the um, where the NDX one, where May 1st is for the NDX 100 in October 9th. So it still maintains that same pattern. Yes. But during the whole process, and as you talked about, we've been going sideways. If you just looked at, you know, daily candles for four or five days, it's been a larger consolidation if we open it up a bit. But what we see here inside this uh, NASDAQ chart over the last 25 years is really a consolidating period of time. So we don't really typically see a bottom inside of, uh, well, the first significant bottom we see inside of the NASDAQ is around June 14th. Typically, leads to a summertime rally July 17th and then down into that October 9th uh, time frame issue. So we've got those three that we've taken a look at. During the last 20 years, as I said, only 20 years worth of data for the Russell, its chart patterns also look different. Looks significantly different. In fact, it's right around March 15th when the Russell puts in a, a significant bottom out here. And we go, I'm not going to focus on the Russell today, but folks can go back, take a look at their charts. And then typically we don't see the Russell really top out until uh, the uh, third week of July. Moves lower, has a little rally up into September and then down into October. So, it, and also the Russell 2000 hates Mondays. It loves over the last 20 years. Its favorite day of the week is Tuesday. So, folks, we'll see what uh, Tuesday uh, brings for us. So, our primary focus today, Tom, I wanted to just really be on the uh, NASDAQ, the NDX 100. And the reason is, and the reason to shift my focus there is because that's where we got the most recent signal change. Okay. So, one of the patterns that, that I look for are what I refer to as these roads momentum, roads momentum indicator patterns. Um, it's a pattern that I teach subscribers, so anybody out there can learn this pattern I give the exact specifics in theory in basic theory it's where we have price moving higher with less relative energy it includes more than that but the one thing about each of the patterns that I trade well I can't say each of them some of the patterns that I trade require you to get a bullish or bearish reversal candle to confirm either the top or the bottom in this case here on Friday we had a key reversal session we had a bearish uh, engulfing or bearish sash candle out there so we had everything take place the signal to us on Friday that we got a top. We do have a top inside the uh, NASDAQ 100. What we don't have is we don't have confirmation of a break of support. In fact, you were taking a look at just on the intraday, you know, kind of a similar type of a thing. But here, when I take a look at support, I'm using uh, profile levels. In this case here, price is trading above the top of its profile. And that little green, red squiggly line on my chart, which is the oscillator and change line, it's real strong momentum. So we do have a top inside the index 100. It says we need to be careful or prepared. And uh, if we take a look at the daily and the weekly time frame chart, so the top panel shows a daily NQ on the left, weekly NQ on the upper right, lower left is the NASDAQ 100, lower right is the weekly NASDAQ 100. Each of these are matching each other. And we have on the weekly charts, if you look on the right-hand side, we have TD9 count top. So it's bar number nine. When we get to that and we have a successful bar number nine, it tells us about a topping signal. In the case of the NQ, it's very close to its breakdown level, where prices are broken down from at 13,453. Now, in a TD9 count pattern, Tom, the top can take place on bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. So it won't be until the end of this week that we have the fully completed pattern. But between the daily and the weekly, it really does say that we need to be careful here. Um, 
And uh, and remember, the, the NDX 100 is kind of lining up right now with a seasonal pattern. Now, this seasonal pattern would really only take us lower for a couple of weeks out there. But uh, it, this would really match up with, with, some of the, with some of the intraday data that you were looking at as far as markets moving lower, what you're taking a look at from a volume standpoint. So the seasonal piece of it and then the daily topping signal is in place. Now all we need to do is we need to get sellers to move to the downside. If I do this real quickly and take a look at the top five instruments, inside the NASDAQ 100. Yes. We take a look at Microsoft on Friday. It confirmed a Rhodes momentum indicator top on its daily time frame. Weekly's got a TD9 count. Apple has the same thing. It, it confirmed a Rhodes momentum indicator top a couple days prior. It has a TD9 count on the weekly. Amazon, though, has a sell the D point pattern. Okay. And it has a TD9 count on the weekly. Those are the top three. Uh, there are no topping signals for NVIDIA. I heard you pull up the NVIDIA chart. Looks yeah. like this thing just wants to keep moving higher. And the same for Google. Google's got an A to B equals CD to the upside. Uh, it gets us to about the 130 level out there. So those uh, five stocks represent, uh, I thought I'd written it down somewhere, somewhere around 48%, I believe, right. of, the, uh, uh, of the entire NDX 100. So we just need to be on guard, uh, folks. The seasonals say that in the case of the NDX 100, which can drag our markets lower, we really need to be on guard. And you know, Steve, what I remember, you know, we've been doing these interviews so long that, you know, the sell in May go away. You were showing us a couple years ago that it's really closer to the end of May, not the That's beginning true. of May. That's true. That's yeah. True. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Look forward to the show tomorrow, Steve. You too, Tom. Take care. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. .com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 33. Get the Nasdaq uh, up 72. S&Ps are up 10. Let's get over and take a look at, uh, oh, actually, actually, figs. S5GS. Let's go take a look at figs. We had a question from a tiger out here about gaps. So the low for figs is 555. The high is 13. This is the you know, all this healthware outfits that you always see, the scrubs, folks, okay? This is a monster business. I mean, look at these. These numbers are huge, man. Just wild. 540 million in clothing, right? You know, bottom line, scrubs, 415 million. You talk about having the market on scrubs, right? That being said, you know, this has been in a downtrend for quite some time. $30 all the way down to basically, uh, what did that hit? Let's see. Yeah, it hits $5.90. Now, what you can see is coming up to fill the gap. So, let me put this on a weekly for a second, because most times, first off, it's cool that it came up there, but you can see, see how it's, it's into the gap already, okay? Because 655 is the bottom of that weekly. The top of it is um, 906. You're at 840. And on the weeklies, you can see that this volume is dropping. Right, so now let me put it back to the daily. We take a look at the daily, and what you're gonna see is that, you know, we have price spread today, 50 cents is good. What you can't, what you can, you're not getting enough volume though. Like, you can see the last time we were up here was 4.4 million. You're only doing 1.7 today. Let me see when this comes out with numbers. Okay, not until August 8th. The real question is, is that you think this thing can get through it. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. So on a weekly, well, I'd say it's probably going to go to the top of the range, meaning it's going to try to get through this bar, meaning the, the, the 930. You're going, to need, you're going to need some strength, though, and which just may happen is that you may get a lot of back and forth at this area because you can see in the last 10 trading days we just did go up uh, a couple points and in that particular pace on a six dollar stock so we look at the let's go to home depot home depot is coming out with the numbers tomorrow morning so with Home Depot, the low for Home Depot for the year is 264, the high is 347. This is coming out before the market opens. Home Depot is trading 288. They're going to be looking to take uh, 38 billion to the top line and three dollars and eighty cents. Now, let's see. Yeah, you're going to you have the spring quarter into this. Okay, that's what's going on. Now, that being said, this is going to be a big one, folks. Okay, that's the that's the you know are people still spending money, as much money on their homes as they have been, you know, and I suspect what you're going to see out here, let me put this on a monthly, actually. Okay, so on a monthly, yeah, this wants to go to the bottom of consolidation. This is, this is not out of the woods yet. The bottom of that consolidation will be 264. Right now, you're at 288. Lowe's, so we'll go to Lowe's and see what Lowe's is coming up with. Because I believe Home Depot is normally first, Lowe's is second. Yeah, Lowe's is coming out the 23rd. Now, the low of Lowe's for the year is 170. The high is 233. Lowe's is going to look to take in 21 billion and do 345 to the bottom line. Put this, do the same type of exercise. Put this on a monthly. Now, this is where this gets interesting, folks. So, so check this out. Lowe's actually looks stronger than Home Depot. Now, I can see, you know, fundamentally why. You know, like Lowe's, yeah, we might test on Lowe's. Well, 205. What is that number? Yeah, 198, 198, 205. Now, this is what the difference is. The difference is that 
Lowe's is the home owner, whereas the bulk of the business, whereas Home Depot is the contractor. So across the country, you can see that, you know, there's parts of the north and west that are slowing down dramatically in the housing business, not in the south. Um, but I could see in that aspect that, the, that Home Depot would have less orders than Lowe's. And more than likely what very well could happen is that because people are not selling their homes, um, Lowe's might overtake or uh, do better when you compare both Lowe's and Home Depot to each other, which would be a turn. That is, has to be a turn uh, in the marketplace, okay? There's no doubt about that. So we'll see where that shakes out. But that's gonna be, that's gonna be a heads up in the marketplace in a, in, a, in a big way, there's no doubt about that. We gotta take a look at, uh, uh, let's go take a look at Micron. So Micron, right now, this is up 382. This is coming up to, to the highs. And this is quite a, it's not only come up to the highs, it's got, it's got juice up here, man. If you wanted to see a consolidation to a nice looking chart, this is, this is one of them, man. There's no doubt about that. I mean, you can see the, when we're at these highs, you have volume. When you pull back, you have light volume. Let me just pull it back a bit more and see what we have. That's six months. I put it in two years. Oh, look at how long this consolidation is. Wow. Okay, this is gonna be a big one to watch because, let me see this thing. Look at this. This has been consolidating almost a full year. That's a weekly. We'll put this on a monthly. So on a monthly, the last two months you've been pushing higher with volume, trying to get, you can see, this is, ICE is set up at the 65.86. And it's, it's, what it's trying to do is trying to get into that area. You know, you can, you can see, this is, a, this is a classic Wyckoff deal. You jump the creek, you had monster volume on the jump, it's been trying to get back into it now for, oh my God, this is pretty amazing actually. Right off the bat, it's trying to get back into it and it hasn't been able to do so. And that goes all the way back to September. Now the last two months we had volume, but this month we don't have volume. You know, so I get a feeling you're gonna see a, uh, a failure there because it's pretty dramatic. We did 472 million two months ago. You did 352 last month. And this month we're only at 143. So when you do that, those kinds of numbers, it's like, okay, you're gonna be into it, you know, at about 300 million coming up into that level. And, you know, yeah, it doesn't mean that you can't take it out, but it's, it's really, when you see that much of a contraction of volume and you're trying to get back in a trading range, it's a whole different animal. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 44, Nasdaq's up 75, S&P's up 11. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 30, NASDAQ's up 75, S&P's up 9.5. Uh, let's go take a look at the indice volume out here today. As I said, we got a sideways move out here. You can have really light volume. Look at that. Right now we are, what do we have? Yeah, you got 20 minutes left. You're only at 460 million inside the NYSE. And we get into the composite. And oh man, look at that. That's a real contraction, 3.3. So what you have there, you know, the market right now, folks, is waiting for news on the debt ceiling. That's how this thing shakes out. And we'll, we'll see whether we get any. Um, you know, because I think it's still too early uh, to get anything because the bottom line is that we're only at May 15th and these things always go right up to the very end and we'll see how this, this one shakes out. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm looking at here. Let's get over to the S&Ps, the E-minis just for a second and see what we have. It's hanging tough, kind of at the same numbers as I, I came on the A up. Yeah, so we'll see where this shakes out. You got this, this, this lower end is still game to be tested. You know, you're right, you're right, you're not that far away from it. Uh, what we haven't had out here though, really, well, yeah, we really, it's been a sideways move. The, the volatility is slowing down and uh, NQ, and because we've been so used to <laughs> high volatility, you know, when you're talking 10 S&P points where that's where that low is. That's a lot of S&P points normally. You know, now it hasn't been a lot of S&P points for the last, you know, seven or eight months. But normally 10 S&P points is quite a bit. You know, we'll see where this uh, NASDAQ uh, composite shakes out too. Because the, on the composite, we're dealing with, uh, what, 418. And, you know, that's 40 NASDAQ points. And... 40 NASDAQ points normally, when I say normally, I mean seven, the last seven, eight months is nothing. Today, that's a, that's a lot of points because of the fact that this volatility has slowed down. You got to remember something, too, that the volatility does slow down in the summer. Now, that being said, the closer that we get to uh, no debt ceiling or no vote on the debt ceiling, um, the higher the probability that this volatility is going to go up again. I, I suspect what's going to happen is this, folks, is that it's going to be a standoff until the market 
decides that it can't take it anymore and you'll have a big market down day and that's you know and then you're going to have moody's probably downgrade the debt um all in all if that's what happens that's when you're going to get that's when you're going to see movement because of the fact that you know us as citizens are going to be calling yelling and screaming um, to our representatives and senators that hey man get this thing done because you just wrecked all the uh, iras and like in about a heartbeat well that, that's what happened in 2011 you know because this is not a you know this is not a deal about having the money to pay it this is a, the willingness to pay what our bills are that's that's how this thing is shaken out that's how it always shakes out that's the bottom line you get the bills and then the question is is okay you know do you want to pay them or not well we have we you know we certainly if the debt ceiling could go up we certainly can pay them but it's going to, really going to be a question of you know the willingness to basically expand the debt ceiling and then go pay it you know and the thing is that's so intriguing in, in general is that numbers these numbers are always going to get higher so this that's just how numbers go <laughs> well that, that's what's right that's how the economy goes meaning that because even a two percent inflation when you start compounding two percent inflation that it'll take a number 100 and crack it down so dramatically it's amazing in fact let me show you this this is this is how you can wrap your head around this watch gld watch this this is this is how dramatic just a four tenths of one percent can do it so i just pull up the gld right and you see this expense ratio is only four tenths of one percent now okay four tenths of one percent keep you just remember that okay now performance this is 1994 i think yeah, it is. Okay, so picture this. Four tenths of one percent, zero four. And this came in at November of 2004. That's when the GLD started, okay? Now, see this number, 187, right? Well, watch this. That four tenths of one percent, 202. 202, 187, just four tenths of one percent brought that down 17 points, okay? Or almost, <laughs> this is crazy, GDX, almost 10%. You see that how that works? Of what it's actually trading? Oh, the GLD, that's right, GLD. So you can see even what a small number can do, meaning because the, the GLD, okay, trades at 10% of the price of gold. But because it has an expense ratio of four tenths of one percent every year, well, you can see what ends up happening. So now, but just picture the, you flip that around and saying that you're out of a hundred, you can every year two percent is going to get knocked off. It turns into monster money. So on the other side of that, now go on the, the on the debt side of that. On the debt side of that, you can see the aspect of exponential numbers on the way up. Now, what's not said, and this is where, when I used to interview Bill O'Neill all the time on TFNN, you know, from Investor Business Daily, he's a founder of Investor Business Daily, and this was, you know, I'm going back a long time ago now. Um, he was always bringing up the aspect when people were worrying about we're never going to basically be able to pay our bills and all this, and he was in the camp, and he's, he's you know, he's conservative, but he was definitely in the camp that well guess what a balance sheet has two sides of the balance sheet you know and what people haven't paid attention to is the other side of the balance sheet meaning the asset side of the balance sheet as to how much everything also goes up in inside of that instead of just looking at the gross domestic product because they, they there's no doubt that a percentage of the gross domestic product that's another way to, of looking at how much you're spending, meaning percentage of the gross domestic product. That does mean quite a bit. There's no doubt about that. But it's not as dire as some people want to make it out to be, you know, because you got to remember we have the other side, meaning the asset side of the balance sheet and how much everything is worth. Um, you know, not that we want to sell anything off. I'm not saying to sell them off. That's for sure. Um, but, 
you know, pretty wild. Hey, you know, the, you know, it's amazing, folks. Okay, if you like documentaries, especially on nature, um, Netflix right now has uh, one, The Chimp Empire. It is unbelievable, um, and it's it's about this um, huge clan, one of the, the well, it's the largest in the in the world. Um, and it's worth checking out. It's, it's a, I think it's two or three um, maybe hour programs. I was watching it over the weekend. It's just a mind blower. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 16, NASDAQ's up 73, S&P's up eight and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 25. NASDAQ is uh, up 77. S&P is up 10. So let's go inside the NDX and see where we had some strength out here today inside the NDX. You had uh, JD.com up six and a half, Micron up six and a half, uh, Zscaler up five and a half. Taken away from it was, uh, oh, Palo Alto. Palo Alto was down 3%. Uh, you had Illumina off 1.8, and O'Reilly was down 1.7. No big, no big numbers out there. That's the bottom line. We go take a look at the SPY, and what you're going to see is we got a sideways move out here. You know, you get the SPY up a buck. You have a big contraction of volume. 
So you're not pushing higher and all lower. That's the bottom line. So we'll see just how long you're going to be up at these highs. Now, the longer you stay up here, the more is like, a, you know, okay, you can, you can crack. That being said, it looks to me that if we take a look at this dollar, what you're going to see is that this dollar, bottom line, wants to get up to this 106. And if that's what we get, you're going to see the broad market get hit as well as the metal market get hit. You know, this was the first time that the dollar actually took out that consolidation. When we say took it out, this consolidation has been going on since approximately June 1st. That's all, no, no, June 1st, oh my God, uh, April 1st. Yeah, April 1st. You know, it was trying, 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 got above it, pulled back today, but it looks to me like it's just laying up there ready to really go. And I suspect what that's gonna happen, folks, is that that's gonna be an overnight move. So what you'll have, if it's an overnight move, this is where you'll have a, you know, sell down um, in a lot of these equities. So, you know, yeah, you can have your stops in inside the gold or silver equity market, but most times, you know, if that's what we get, you'll get, you'll get a drop. And I showed you that uh, XAU H and the HUI chart. There's volume, and the, the volume, unfortunately, is uh, a lot lower. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get them, folks. Yeah.